What's up guys? Just popped back into the game, let it reset, did the whole update, and I'm shocked. I I'm I'm super excited. I don't know how to feel right now. My orbs are not safe on any of my accounts, but holy shit, here we go. New Valentine's Day summons. Now they're not available yet. They'll be available on the 31st, but oh yeah. So we got 5-star Nanao, 5-star Yoruichi, and 5-star Halibel. Yoruichi has quite a few, no, I think maybe one or two other holiday versions. And this one is no doubt just as sexy as the other ones. Halibel is... Mm, mm, mm. And of course Nanao chilling over there with her sexy librarian look with her magic spell book and the glasses. Mm, all right. So, uh, the following three new five-star characters will be added. Halibel, Witch Queen of the Cacao Society, Yodoichi, Knight and Defender of Cacao Castle, and Nanao, the Mage and Custodian of the Cacao Castle Library. Oh, shit. So, she's actually the custodian of the library. Okay. So, librarian look engaged. Uh, these characters will be featured in four slightly different Valentine's Day summons. See below for details. So, it seems as though they're going to be following suit with the past few holiday summons where they'll have a general... 6% banner at the very beginning of the month and then throughout the rest of the month they'll probably have their single banners with previous uh, Valentine's Day summon fillers in them. So let's see, I just want to see the stats. Let's check it out. Dun, dun. Three female characters from the Cacao Society, an alternate dimension that appears on Valentine's Day, are here. The three five-star characters featured in the summons are Halibel, Yoruichi, and Nanao. Hello comes armed with a moving vortex second strong attack, which is really awesome. Uh, both the Halloween Yodoichi and White Tensas on Getsu both have a very, very well implemented moving vortex. So if you need any kind of reference, definitely go check out some spotlights on those two characters. Once awakened to, once awakened to six star, she gains the Hollow Killer ability, a great PVE killer ability, and can unlock Frenzy to increase her strong attack hits. So okay, all right, another amazing Frenzy character. She can also increase her reduced strong attack cooldown soul trait to 14%. All right, so boosted soul trait on at least one of these characters. Awesome. Very, very cool. Yodoichi can inflict paralysis with both her strong or third strong attack and her special move. Very, very cool. Once awakened to six stars, she gains the hollow killer ability. Again, a great PvE killer. And she can unlock both Frenzy and Debilitator, which means that she'll have a lot more damage and her stuns will last longer, increasing her strong attack hits and the duration of her paralysis by 5 seconds. Standard Debilitator bonus. Now, now second strong attack is an attack and a self-heal, very similar to Tsukushima and Retsu, or the uh, new Thousand Year Blood War arc Yachiru. My apologies. Once awakened to 6 star, she gains the Arankar killer ability, uh, which is more of a either PvP or boss killer ability. She can also unlock Medic, which turns her self-heal into a team heal. Again, very much like Tsukushima, uh, Yachiru, and Bombardment, which makes her specials do more hits, making her an excellent support character. Very nice. So again, Nanao is kind of thrown into the support role, which, I mean, it it's completely canon. That's what her character does. She kind of supports Shunsui and, and a lot of things he does, but also you know tries to keep him in line as much as he can. Uh, the XP and coins in Coons Minutes will be doubled, which is for standard brand new summons most of the time. And the Cacao Society, or well, while the Valentine Summon, the Cacao Society is available, so you'll be able to easily power up any new characters you are lucky enough to pull. Well, thanks for that salty little end there bit, or end bit there, Caleb. Appreciate that. From this summons, the test play limit from or for new characters has been increased from twice to 99 times. And the test character has been changed from the 5-star version to the 6-star version of the character. Awesome. So... Hopefully going forward they'll keep this implemented because that's 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 really what you want to see. The five star versions, like they're cool. It's nice checking out the animations and everything, but actually seeing the damage, seeing the uh, just you know full force of the character minus accessories and character links is a really good test. So here we go with the stats. Halibel is technique. Okay, awesome. So we've had quite a few recharge technique characters lately but not only is she recharge and technique but she's also boosted i believe there's a couple other 14 percent recharge technique characters Ta tag team soy phone being one and oh crap i can't think of the other one off the top of my head but hey i, I mean all right awesome 
Sounds good to me. So Bruiser 20%, Havoc 20%, Devastation 40%. Uh, Bruiser is normal attack damage, Havoc being uh, AoE, and Devastation being actual special move damage. So nice, nice, not bad. Plus she's got Sprinter, so she'll be a little bit faster around the maps. Oh, let's actually let's look at the stats. So 741 SP, that's pretty... Pretty good, actually. It's on the you know higher end of what recent units have come out with lately, but not bad at all. I like it. Moving on to Yodoichi, she is speed 733 SP, actually kind of low. Um, I'm surprised, but she does have let's see 649 attack, so that's pretty again middle of the pack. But all right, so it looks like she could be a, the hybrid, so to speak. But she does have frenzy. So definitely want to focus strong attacks with her. So maybe run Pupples with 30 SP, Yuki 30 SP, maybe a Hollow Bait or, um, let's see, or a Fortification Pill with either strong attack or attack, depending on whatever you feel like running. Might be pretty good. Uh, long Reach is pretty good for, for Yodoichi. Uh, Debilitator makes those strong attacks that paralyze much, much longer. Bruiser for normal attack, or, yeah, no? Yeah, yeah, strong attack damage, devastation for ultimate damage, and sprinter just because, well, Yodoichi. And now is power, all right. 720 SP, so she'll be SP focused, but could also be built hybrid with the 655 attack. She has a lot of defense, which is really nice. Killer Aronkar ability, so boss killer support character, like you know the description kind of mentioned. Let's see. Oh, shit. And she's got a 16 DR link. All right. So that's cool. That's cool. I think there's only one other DR link that's power, and that's Dunde Chaka. Uh, I could be wrong. Um, at least that's the only other one that I know, unless I'm missing maybe another seasonal. But damn. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm happy about that. That kind of actually makes me really excited to pull on this. So she's got Bruiser, which gives her strong attacks, more damage, Havoc, more AoE. Oh, sorry, uh, Bruiser is... Ah, oh, shit, my fault. Uh, yeah, Bruiser is normal attack damage, Berserker being the strong attack damage, so this is pretty nuts. She's going to be pretty strong, even without the super high SP. So, wow, all right, plus she's got medic, so definitely support, you know, geared. All right, all right. All right, and now you're doing it for me. And then, of course, you got your fillers down here at the bottom with uh, Valentine's Day Momo, who is a team healer. Rukia is a booster. And I think Nanao and Yachiru... Oh, wait, Yachiru is a healer. I'm not sure what Nanao is. Uh, I, I actually don't have her, nor have I seen her played. So if anybody down there in the comments wants to let me know what if, if she's either certain, like a booster or a healer, let me know. But, uh, of course, you know, each summit will be 25 pull or 25 ores per single pull and 250 per multi. Sweet, man. I'm excited. So let me know what you guys think. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you then. Later.